therapy with it. I went to therapy and I, I fixed that about myself. And I never been harder to win than right now. After a while, and that's how pain comes about as well. Learn how to um, get into school. Why? Because every single day you are failed. Just do cold calls. Don't the men are this never your friends. Don't like think about it. Just take action. That men are never your friends for your own safety. This whole male friendship thing with women is a scam that they. These days, self improvement is just so oversaturated. And I'm saying this as a self improvement content creator like myself. But when you have this person saying this, this person saying that, everything just may seem like too much for you. And it may even deter you from self improvement. It's like if this person's saying that you should grind, but this person is saying that you shouldn't, or this person's contradicted themselves, like I don't even know what's real anymore. I don't even know what content to take. Like it's just so much information. I don't even know. Like everybody's like, hey. Calm down, think, it's going to be okay. You don't have to stop your self-improvement journey. If you're struggling to deal with the overload of self-improvement, watch this video and hopefully by the end of it, you will also feel a lot more better about your self-improvement journey. Hey guys, it's Mariam. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just a girl who likes to talk about self-improvement and give my advice that I've learned in my years of living. If you listen to my podcast, hey guys, welcome back to the It Girl Diaries. Let's get on with the topic of discussion. Self-improvement, there is no wrong or right answer. Well, there is like some answers that are very like, everybody has a basic, you know, view that, oh, you should be able to eat healthy, exercise, you know, work on yourself, gain a skill. And that's like, you know, facts. And everybody knows this, like everybody knows that eating healthy is good for you. But there's a lot of things that there's no wrong or right answer, but the answer is due to personal preference. For example, a woman could be like, don't date, dating is not good for women. Or a man could be like, don't have a woman, focus on yourself. Another person can be like, oh, but um, having a partner could be beneficial for you. So in those type of like taboo subjects, there's no right or wrong answer. But the right and wrong answer is down to you and your personal preferences, which is why sometimes it's hard for us to make judgments with self-improvement because we're too busy following this one person. We hear something else and we just go with that. Like we're just going left, right, back and center, around and around in circles because we don't know what we're doing. There's a lot of clashing and information in the self-improvement industry and the reason why it's like that because people give advice due to their own personal experiences and i think that's a good thing for example because much of there's only one self-improvement creator not everybody will be able to rate the rate to them so the more them the more self-improvement creators there are the more easier it is for people to find a person who's right for them and for example if there is this one self-improvement creator only people who are similar to them will be able to understand and comprehend what they're saying in the right way for example if you're watching a self-improvement video from a white woman people who are white will be able to understand comprehend because obviously in a world where there's a lot of discrimination being white being black being male being female there's advantages and disadvantages so imagine if you listen to a white man talk about self-improvement about how he makes so much money in an industry for a black woman it wouldn't be as easy since we are literally bottom of the barrel. And I'm not saying this to discriminate or put down any creators who are white men or just white in general, or just men in general. But you need to understand that and be realistic, but that you do have certain privileges in the world and certain perceptions that it's easier for you to be successful compared to other minorities. And I'm not saying this to put any limiting beliefs in your head. No matter who you are, where you're from, you can always achieve something. But I'm just saying that if a man who lives in America and had like daddy's money is telling you about self-improvement, it's gonna be really hard for a kid in Africa to be able to relate to that. If you watch a self-improvement creator who has came from Africa, is black and you are black, it's easier for you to relate to that. And it's easy for you to believe that it's realistic compared to you see a white man and you're like, this is never realistic. We have different, two completely different stories. I will never be able to be like you. Better for you to take advice from someone who's similar to you. And I'm not saying that if you're white watching this, if you're whatever watching this video that you should click off because no matter what the race they can still provide you value but you know just know if they're different from you their perceptions their experiences is going to be different they may have pretty privilege they may have the country that they're in privilege they may be able to, they may be educated you may not be educated so see you still take the advice but keep in mind these differences that you may have and don't just like blindly like be ignorant to it now and i just told you that find someone similar to you but at the same time you find someone similar to you 
expose yourself to different self-improvement creators for example if you watch a self-improvement creator that are women find maybe find like one content creator who's a man and content that criticizes the content that you watch so you can make your own objective view for example let's say i watched this video recently about hamza being like there's no more feminine women where he was basically criticizing the wizard liz because she, all she gives is she gives very masculine advice for women when we are feminine and this video really opened my eyes because i love the wizard liz like i love her videos but like when you watch a video that criticizes creator that you like it makes you like not only take your favorite creator's word for gold and it makes you actually make your own ideas and this is why the, all these content creators are successful because they expose themselves to different creators so they can make their own objective view and it's not just oh this person said this so that is it that is it that's the only way i'm going but you may it may be blind leading the blind so you need to make sure that you don't rely on only one person but make sure that one person that you watch most of the time is similar to you but also still expose yourself to other creators so you can make your own personal objective decisions be able to make your own ideas become come up with your own philosophies and be different from everybody else don't be a sheep and just mildly follow daddy's content or follow mommy's content or follow your what was it what's that um your roman empire don't just go with that and just that's it i'm gonna become exactly like this creator because you can't become exactly like them and let's say they they make all this all this great content and they say something that's controversial they say something that's bad are you still you're still gonna follow them but you need to be able to be like okay you said this i don't really agree with that thing but everything else is okay be able to be like you don't have to take everything for what like you can uh, disagree it's okay to disagree with some things that your favorite creators say let's use the example that i said in the beginning of this video if a content creator or a personal development creator says that relationships are bad for you but you think oh but i'm in a relationship and i think i'm doing quite well for myself you make that decision for yourself obviously keep in mind what they said in your head but if you genuinely believe that being in a relationship doesn't hinder your self-improvement journey then don't take their word for fact don't just suddenly break up with that person because the my favorite creator did so like i remember this was a liz made a video being like um why i broke up or why i ended my relationship and i know a lot of people who follow the wizard liz word for fact would have been like oh the wizard liz broke up with her man because she said that she wasn't feeling the same way feeling this way um and she didn't feel like she could um pursue herself and do 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 you may be in a relationship and you may be going through a rut. You see this video that the wizard lid posted being like why I ended my relationship and see, saw that, oh, she was in the same position as she was in the same position as me. She broke up with her boyfriend, her life got better. Maybe if I end my relationship, my life will get better. But the thing is, yeah, your relationship was fine. There's nothing wrong with a relationship. You just saw your favourite creator do one thing, thought it was right, and then you you ended it when in reality that wasn't your problem so be really wary and really aware when you hear a creator say something take what they said and marinate it for like a good one week two weeks and really decide if this is the right thing for you don't be impulsive a lot of you be on your phones on youtube for hours tiktok hours on end watching self-improvement content and saying that it's productive start applying what you have learned and if this overload of self-improvement is too much for you it's because you're watching too much self-improvement content if you're watching like five videos a day watch one video a day take one thing that they've taught you and apply it that same day so if a um, content creator is telling you oh you um be more social you know talk to more people talk to more people that same day don't just be mindlessly consuming 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 and don't apply it's like you learning how to, you're watching football, how to play football. You're spending hours and hours on end watching the best tackle techniques, watching how to get the perfect goal, but you never apply it. You're going to see zero progress. And that's a lot of reason why you guys don't see progress because you're watching all this content, but you're not applying any of it. You say that, oh, but it's educational. You spend hours laughing at the Wizard Liz. You spend hours laughing at Hamza, laughing at Iman Ganzi. You're not actually applying what they're saying and you're sitting here being like his advice doesn't work this is not true you may think that you're better than the average who's 
on TikTok, 247, on Twitter, but you're still consuming. It doesn't matter if it's self-improvement content, you're still consuming content. Get off your flipping phone and take their advice and apply it straight away. Don't wait for anybody. With self-improvement, you may feel like it's a go, 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 go journey. You may think that if I'm, I'm going to grind for like two years, no breaks, no stops, and I'm going to have one million dollars, one million pounds. But one thing about self-improvement that a lot of people don't know, that it's not always 24-7 grind. It may be a period of like six months grind, period of six months being a degenerate. And that is okay. If you spend a long time being in monk mode, working on yourself, you can let yourself go. Don't think, because honestly, these self-improvement content content creators any type of content creators on the internet they only show you the good parts they only show you the good things i want to be totally transparent with you guys everything that i teach i do not do every single day and that is okay that doesn't mean you should come and criticize me on the internet be in my comments being like oh you told me to do this but you didn't do it yourself huh, honey i'm human you're human we go through ups and downs in life, especially for women. I'm gonna make a whole entire video about this, for, but about women and self improvement, especially for women. But men, they can they work on a twenty four hour clock cycle. They can be in a rut for one day and the next day they're on a grind. But with us women, we're more our cycle is a lot longer. Obviously, you know we have a monthly cycle, so you have two three weeks where you're just on a grind, on a grind, on a grind. But when the time of the month comes, you're just so like you just want to be in a rut. You don't want to do anything, and that is okay. You know what? Self-improvement is not always about going up every single day. You may go down sometimes, but when you go down and you go back up, that going up is a lot, lot faster. And you see all these content creators posting and you're having an influx of information onto you. You're going to believe that everybody is grinding and you're the only one that's left out. But if you just stick to one content creator, you would see that there's times where, oh, they haven't posted in a while. Oh, um... Their followers are going down. They may be in a be all right as well. But because you're watching a new self-improvement consequence every single day, you believe that, oh, this is the norm and everybody's grinding and I'm just here. I've been on self-improvement since 2021. And even though I have not been grinding like every single day since then, I have seen a lot of improvement. And that's because we are better than the average because rather than us being ignorant and not knowing the self-improvement things and just being in a rut we know what we have to do when we are in a rut so instead of us just playing video games all day and being ignorant to the fact that this is bad for us we know it's bad for us so it's easy for us to stop it and this is another and we'll talk about the dark side of self-improvement is that they beat yourself up more than the average person because you know you can hear your favorite content creator in your head screaming at you being like, you shouldn't be watching this. You shouldn't be playing video games. You shouldn't be eating junk food. But because you're human, sometimes you let yourself get the better of you. And you do those things that you know you're not supposed to be doing. Rather than us being ignorant and just eating the junk food. You know, we know it's bad for us, but we don't know how truly bad it is for us. And you may hate yourself even more because you're like, oh... I was supposed to go to the gym today and I know how hard I've been grinding for self-improvement. I just let myself go today and you may beat yourself up more, but you need to have compassion for yourself. I know you want to be successful. I know you don't want to be like the average, but when you have your down days, be compassionate for yourself. Always know that there is a new day tomorrow and you can do better. Self-improvement has taken over, but that doesn't mean that you should lose hope or become overstimulated with the amount of content on the internet. You can still grow, follow the tips I've told you in this video, and your self-improvement journey should be a lot more smoother. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for a new video. I love you so much, and bye y'all.